everyone, welcome back. It's Kelly here again from Company Partners. Welcome back to our video series on how to start a business in South Africa. In our previous session, we covered the practical steps on how to set business goals. If you missed any of our previous sessions, simply click on the link in the description below to watch it now. Once again in studio, I have our aspiring entrepreneur Zandi, as well as our registered IMCSA business coach Brent. So we have some burning questions in the session. Let's get started. So guys, many entrepreneurs forget that being a salesperson is part and parcel of starting a business. Is that right, Brent? No, it's, it's, it's true, it's true. Awesome. So how important is it to have a sales strategy? This is probably the most important thing when you're starting a business. 80% of the success of your business is dependent on your ability to generate leads and convert those leads into sales. We're sitting with a problem where most people who are starting a business is technic uh, technically good or skilled at something. Example, you're a good plumber or a good electrician, then you assume you're going to have a good plumbing or electrical business. But you never thought that you actually need to generate leads and convert them into sales, which is also the most difficult thing to do in business. Yes, that makes sense. Okay, I get it and I can relate with you. I think Zandi as well, right? You don't really think about being a salesperson when you start a business. <laughs> Not really, um, but now I understand. I understand. And what are the core elements of a good sales strategy for my business? Very good question and I'm going to give you a breakdown on what needs to be in place in order for you to do proper lead generation, proper lead conversion. Number one, you need a good brand. Your brand needs to tell people exactly what you do within the first five seconds. Number two, you need good marketing and advertising channels. Uh, and you also need an online presence. So the marketing and advertising channels is gonna either be Google AdWords, you're gonna have Facebook ads, Instagram ads, etc. But now number three, you need the online presence to back up your credibility. A proper LinkedIn page, a proper LinkedIn profile, a proper Facebook page that shows your target market that you're active and busy in your business. The fourth one is your sales process. What's going to happen when the lead comes in? Are you going to give them a phone call? Are you going to invite them for a personal meeting? Are you going to send them an email? You've got to ask these questions. And then last but not least, excellent customer service which creates a happy client they go and they speak to their friends and family and you get referrals viral marketing you can't put a price on that awesome brent you're really dropping some knowledge bombs here i hope you guys are taking notes <laughs> so in our free startup workshop you often refer to the sales cycle what is the sales cycle and how do these core elements fit into it so basically the, 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 the key thought is people buy emotionally, they justify logically. Emotionally goes back to your business strategy, do I need this? Again, are you selling a necessity or luxury? The target market is going to ask, do I need this? Emotionally, yes, great. Logically, does it make sense? In other words, is the value I'm getting from your product or service going to weigh out in the term or uh, in the cost that I'm going to pay for this. Does the value weigh out the cost? If that doesn't make sense, people's like, I'm not going to buy. People buy emotionally, they justify logically. And when you enter that sales pitch, it's all about winning attention, communicating, getting people to trust you. So if you think about your brand, you got to win attention. Your brand needs to win attention. It needs to communicate a message and you've got to ultimately have a brand that's going to build trust over a long period of time. When you're heading into your marketing or advertising campaign, you've got to win attention, you've got to communicate, and you've got to get people to trust that you can actually deliver what you're promising. When you're doing a sales pitch, you've got to win people's attention, you've got to communicate a message, and they need to trust you over the phone. So that's how the whole sales cycle works when you are an entrepreneur. Yes, thank you, Brent. So, having a sales strategy planned for your business is highly important as it contributes to the success and effectiveness of your business ability to generate and convert leads and get money in the bank. Right, Zandi? Nanzo, okay? I now understand the importance of having a sales strategy. If you want to learn more about a sales strategy for your business, sign up for our free workshop today. If you are already a trading business and need funding 
or support to grow. Our accredited business coaches are ready to assist you. Join us for our next session on branding and how do you build a company brand. See you there.